Hello the humans. How are we today? Back with another mushroom hunt. And uh, in the last video I mentioned there was a type of mushroom that I didn't I didn't know, I'd never found before. And I was struck between whether it was the honey mushroom or whether it was the fried chicken mushroom. Because the honey mushroom's toxic and the fried chicken mushroom's edible. So uh, basically I've done further research how to identify the differences between the two of them. And we're back in the woods today and I've just found some fried chicken mushroom. There it is, look at that. Sun's just came out. Let's show you it. It's a huge mushroom, eh? And it looks very, very similar to a, a honey mushroom. Wow. Ooh. Only a slight few differences. Wow. It's a gorgeous mushroom, isn't it? All right, well, there we go. As you can see, I've, I've harvested some of the big mushrooms out of that cluster there. And uh, they're quite big mushrooms, aren't they? So, you know, you don't, you don't only need... I've got three, yeah, you don't only need that. That'll sort you, won't it? They're, uh, they're quite a similar looking mushroom to the honey mushroom, which, you know, is a toxic mushroom. So the differences between them the, there's not many, do you know what I mean? The slight colour difference, the honey mushroom is a lot more of an uh, orange, yellowy, honey-ish colour. Whereas these are more brown. But, uh, you know, that's, that, that's not for sure because the colour can change with the sun or the rain or whatever. So, you know, you can't just trust the colour. The, uh, the stems are slightly different, you know, these have got smooth stems whereas with the honey mushroom there might be a, a I can't remember what you call it, so, some sort of mark here where the cap used to be attached called the universal veil, where the universal veil used to be. There's a mark there on the honey mushroom which isn't there on the fried chicken mushroom and uh, the last most important difference if you ask me is the honey mushroom sometimes has scales on the top of it whereas this fried chicken mushroom that'll be smooth on the top all the time so yeah that's the fried chicken mushroom you know you lay you lay more as you come out. It's a, it's important to know what you're doing when you're foraging, but you learn as you're doing it as well. And as you're learning, that encourages you to learn more. So, yeah. All right, guys, well, I'm back at that site from the other week where I first found these fried chicken mushrooms. And, uh, well, you can see how much they've changed in a week. That, that was the little cluster what I got a picture of. See, they're still small compared to the other ones for now, innit? So I'm going to leave them for another day. It's mad how much shit can change in a week, though, innit? All right, the humans. I'm back in the house now. Just trying to do a spore print for this uh, this fried chicken mushroom here to make sure that it is actually the type of mushroom that I want to be a hundred percent confident. But uh, I found out anyway the honey mushroom, honey fungus, that doesn't grow until autumn time anyway. So now that now in springtime, that's definitely a fried chicken mushroom because it, it didn't have the, the universal veil on the stem as well. So, 
definitely a fried chicken. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Come again for the next one.